With innovative games such as Populous, The Syndicate, Black and White, and The Fable series, Peter Molyneux's place in video game history has clearly been reserved. Today we briefly explore the career, work, and the lasting legacy of Peter Molyneux. Starting at the beginning with his first game in 1984, The Entrepreneur is a text-based business simulation that lets you guide a young fledgling company. While Molyneux made hundreds of copies, only two were sold. One likely to his mother, Molyneux would later joke. After the first attempt, Molyneux went to developing business applications and was one of the founders of Taurus Impact Systems. One day he gets a phone call from a guy at Commodore who says, hey, we're getting ready to bring out our new system, the Amiga. We want to talk to you about maybe doing some software and some work for us. Uh, can we come out and talk? So Peter Molyneux, of course, he's like, all right, so cool, come on out. Uh, the guy gets there and Commodore is basically telling him they're going to give him all these Amigas. We're going to give you all these Amigas if you uh, basically help us uh, get our software going. But he realized that the moment the guy said, uh, Totally can't wait to start working with you guys and get that networking software up and running. Which would be great if they actually made network software, but they totally didn't. They made the business application. So there was another company called Taurus who made networking software, which is where the Commodore gentleman thought he was at. Of course, Peter you know, had a crisis of conscience and didn't know if he should be like, all right, so you got the wrong company, don't give us these free computers. Instead, he was just like, sweet, and shook his hand and like ran out the door. So. Uh, so, so that's how he got the computing power he needed to, to start getting going. Of course, soon after, uh, you know, he basically told Commodore what the deal was, but you know, they, they were able to do what they needed to do, so they were able to keep those computers and use those. From 1987 to 1997, Mall Newton and his company would create some of the most innovative games of the time, such as 1989's Populous. Populous, I guess, is, I mean, it's certainly credited, I think, with being like the first ever kind of god game. Uh, I remember playing that game on my Amiga and just being blown. I mean, I didn't know who Peter Molyneux was back then. I was too young. I didn't care. It was just a cool game. I think it was the first ever game that I played multiplayer, like with two systems. Like my friend, like brought his computer over to my place, and we moved like two TVs into the same room and all that stuff. And yeah, that was like the first game I ever did. The kind of local multiplayer that way. Populous went on to become one of the best-selling games ever beyond just laying the financial foundation for continuing work at Bullfrog. However, Populous provided the stylistic groundwork on which each subsequent Molyneux game was built. In 1993, Molyneux shifted from his designer slash programmer role at Bullfrog and instead served as producer for Syndicate, considered by many to be Bullfrog's finest game. I have very fond memories of Syndicate. I actually, I need to go back to that game because the memories are fading, but uh, I, I, was, like, I remember a lot of those levels being pretty kind of strategic and just the whole the setting and everything for that game, I think, was what really turned me on to it. 